Hey guys, it's SD here again. Uh, this is, I guess, be part three of the uh, battery or bank desulfation for solar and wind generator system. I've got uh, four of the T125 uh, batteries out, uh, sitting on top of the battery bank, and I'm I'm pulsing uh, two of them right now. I uh, found out that uh, watching the voltage, these four, two of them would act pretty good. The other two seemed to limit how much power could go through uh, the uh, charge controller that I got from Missouri Wind and Solar. So right now, these two being pulsed are up to, if you can see it here or not, 1486. They started out at 1280, uh, 12.87. And there's the uh, Missouri Wind and Solar charge controller. You can see the other batteries uh, slightly adjusted the uh, charge controller dump setting on it. But uh, they will actually go above 13 volts now. Uh, when they're coming down in the dump load, it's at 13.7, 13.6 now. But you can see that the charge is actually uh, set to dump at 15.3 now. So I'm trying to equalize those four batteries now. And that's just the difference of pulsing them about four or five times. Before they wouldn't uh, uh, go above 13.9. Uh, and now they're, they're uh, seem to be responding a lot better. I could pulse them a few more times and make them even better. But now you see the voltage rising up, up to 15.3. And then I'll check this evening to see what they come to rest at before they were resting about 12.9. All right, so we're back to this little setup here. Let's back the camera out a little bit. This one's been on the uh, solid state for right at two hours now. Let's see if we can get inside and see what the image looks like of it cold boiling. cells you see them now this is where it's completely different from a regular conventional charger when you uh, see your battery boil like this when you got it hooked up to a regular charger batteries are actually getting hot these are cold and it's pulsing them Again, once these uh, get up to about 15, uh, 10, 15, 30, I'll adjust this potentiometer down a little bit and just let them sit and run like that uh, for about another two hours. Take it off. I still got to get a headlight, and that would be the best way right now. Uh, once they charge up, let them rest 10 hours, and then uh, record your uh, highest. Uh, charging input which would be 1530 if I get it that high and um, then record the resting voltage and then, then discharge it down uh, to about uh, 1190 the first time and you just start watching how long uh, it takes to, to discharge down to 11.90 then once you pulse it again repeat the steps and you can see the difference now, how long it takes to discharge down to 11.9 uh, you'll, you'll see a few minutes to even a half an hour an hour or longer then you know your battery is starting to get reconditioned now uh, what I've a couple of guys who want to try this here uh, you'll see uh, sometimes the batteries will come up in a voltage and then when they start breaking through uh, sulfation they'll drop back down like this was 1180 something that's at 17 or 14.78 okay and that's where it's breaking through a bunch of the sulfation now you see it jump back up again okay just got rid of a bunch of the sulfation 14.88 now if it runs into another layer that's trying to break through you can see the voltage drop back down again and there'll be a couple of times if you got a battery it's really sulfated uh, it'll just sit at a certain voltage like 14.88 and not move for maybe even a half an hour and eventually it'll break through it 
And so just a few little things to watch when you get ready to start working with your batteries. And again, if anybody needs uh, to know how to make the little uh, solid state pulse motor, just let me know. Get the parts readily, uh, the uh, transistors and resistors and potentiometer, uh, even a little on-off switch from like uh, eBay or Radio Shack. And this little coil was just a piece of ABS pipe and some pieces of plexiglass that I cut with a jigsaw and used some uh, Loctite Professional Super Glue. Made that, then wound the copper around there. Pretty easy to do. And these things work great. I've been using them for years now. So we'll keep on uh, working with these batteries. And if I get uh, another four batteries here in the end of this month, uh, before I even think about adding them to the bank, I'll be going through the same procedure here and making sure they're in good shape. Alright guys, we'll catch you later on.